Hello and welcome to the CAD tutorial series. Guys, uh, by now you are aware that we have already launched this uh, Revit architecture software course. So in the Revit demo session, I had shown you like uh, how you will be able to create this type of plan, this type of isometric views and this type of realistic images in Revit. So uh, by the help of Revit, you will be able to generate this type of realistic views as well along with these plans. Plan uh, that can be presented in a proper manner. So in AutoCAD, you have already seen, I will show you the AutoCAD plan version as well. In AutoCAD, you have drawn the plans like this, right? These were the floor plans in AutoCAD. But in Revit, as I have already shown you, you can plan or you can do the drawing of the plan like this. You can show the isometric view and you can show this type of a realistic images. So one thing can come to your mind like being a, you know, uh, being a civil engineer, what is the requirement to create this type of 3D realistic images, right? You must have a question in mind. But guys, Revit is such a software that reduces or eases the effort that we put forward in AutoCAD while doing a planning in AutoCAD because over here you have seen how the AutoCAD plan is drawn. Let us go to the AutoCAD version. Take the line. So I have to select this line option. Then I have to draw the lines, right? Now guys, if I have to draw a plan in Revit, the process will be different because in AutoCAD, I have already shown you, we ha you have got this draw toolbars and modify toolbars, but in Revit, there is an advantage. You have got the walls, you have got the door, you have got windows, roofs, each and every components will be there. So let us see, I will be just selecting a wall option, right? I can change the thickness of the wall, like uh, 200 mm thickness of the wall is selected for now. So I can use that and simply I can draw the wall. Let us say 5000, 4000 this side. So like this I can create a rectangle, right? And the most interesting thing over here you can see the 3D view as well. So you draw the plan over here. Let us say I'll take a rectangular shape, rectangle. So you draw the plan over here, the 3D also gets visible over here. So that is the advantage of Revit over AutoCAD, right? In AutoCAD, you cannot do like this. Suppose I can complete the plan, the entire plan that can be completed. This is just a a random plan that I am taking. So you can similarly see the 3D view as well, right? So from this 3D view, we can change it to elevation levels as well. The elevation views, these are the elevations. So the doors and windows that are not placed over here, that is the reason we can only see the walls. So I'll simply close this out. So the basic difference you have understood in AutoCAD, you had to draw lines, right? But in Revit, you, you have got the wall components. You have got the doors and windows. So let us again compare with AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, how we have placed doors.
this by me. But in Revit, you can see over here, we have this door options, we have the windows option. So if I select this door option, we'll get n number of doors present over here. You can load from the family, there are other different types. Simply you can select this door and you can place over here. You can place on this, like this. So over here also you can see the door has been placed. Right, I'll just change the height of the walls. So let me change the height of the walls. How can I do that? I'll select the walls and I'll change it up to level 2. So the concept of levels that had already been taught and I've already shown you in the courses. So this is just a demo version like advantages of Revit over AutoCAD. So I'm not going in details. So from here I can place the doors for each and every room. So I can change the swing path. So as the doors are getting placed over here, you can see at this position as well, right? So these are one of the advantages. You can simply select the window as well. From the load family option, right? You can select different types of windows. This is there for the doors as well. For each and every object, you'll be finding this type of, uh, you know, loaded components, right? So these are the windows as you can see over here different types of windows right so these are the types so let us I'll select this one so i'll simply place the cursor over here and the window will be placed over here so you can see at this position the window is placed right so like this we can place the windows at the required position so for now i'm just uh, selecting a like similar type of the window so you can see over here, right, the 3D view. Now, suppose I want to see the elevation view. So again, I'll go to this east side. This is the east side view elevation, the north side, south side, and the west side. So different side elevations that can also be seen. And we do not have to create these elevations, right? So we have automatically got this elevation which was not possible in AutoCAD. So in AutoCAD, how we used to create elevation? The elevations are being automatically created, right? We have, uh, you know, the levels, we had done the plans, we have got the elevations automatically. So that is one of the major advantage of using, uh, you know, Revit over AutoCAD, right? Few more advantages also again. But in Revit, we do not have to draw the uh, section, right? We just have to take the section plane. This is the section plane. You can simply place a section like this. And the sectional view will be generated. This is the sectional view that is created. So unlike in AutoCAD, where we had to do the drafting or we have to do the drawing by the step-by-step -step process with the help of draw toolbars. Here we can create a sectional view with the help of just a plane. So you can simply place this plane over here and we'll be getting the section from this sectional view, right? This is the sectional view. You can create a Z section as well with the help of splitting this segment. You can split this segment like this. So you can get a different view, right? So this is another advantage. Like in AutoCAD, you have seen. So unlike in AutoCAD, where you have to draw these plans 
uh, alone. Like you had to do each and every process step by step. First of all, you did the planning. Then you had to do the elevations. Uh, then you had to go with the sections. But in Revit, you had already seen how we can easily create the planning as well as the 3D modeling and the section and elevation as well, right? Then from this component option, we have the furnitures as well, wherein from this load family, we can, you know, select different types of furnitures that are already uh, present in this furniture, let's say furniture system or the furniture from here. We have different types of furnitures. Let me go to this furniture tab. We have beds, seating, storage, tables, each and every options will be there, which I have already discussed in details in the like course curriculum that is already there, right? From the structural tab, we'll be able to place columns. So these are the columns. From here, we have the steel columns as well as from the load family option. You know, we can place the RCC columns as well. So I'll have to go to the structural columns, concrete. Let us select this rectangular column. So I'll have to place the column. Let us I'll place the column over here. Right? I can see the column at this position. Let us say I'll place over here as well. Right? Okay. So you can see the column over here. You can change the position or the height and height of the column. So I'll make this uh, level two. The top level will be level two, and this one, the offset, won't be there. So zero. So this is the column. You can see over here I have placed it. So like this, we can place the beams, and we can place the structural rebar components as well. Which I'll prepare a separate course for this Revit structural part. So you can place the reinforcement. The three D reinforcement can be shown as well as you can calculate the automatic estimation as well right so that i'll create a separate course so like this uh, as you are doing the planning the architectural part over here we'll mostly discuss about the architectural part so uh, we had seen the planning elevation section uh, each and everything i had shown you now let us say how to create multiple floors right so suppose i'll I'll have to create different levels. So these are the levels that are created. Let us create levels. So we have created the levels, right? Now I'll simply select this. I'll have to select the plan. Okay. Then copy, paste, align to selected levels. I'll just one by one select these levels because I want the plan of the level one placed at two, three, four, and five. So like this, we can, uh, you know, create multiple elevations. It's getting loaded, multiple elevations, right? If I delete this, right? So this is the 3D view over here. For each and every uh, levels, you can, you know, check the floor plan. You can do some modifications on the floor plan as well. So I hope, uh, like, you have understood some basic advantages of Revit over this AutoCAD software, right? So guys, you'll be able to create this type of rendered images. These are called the realistic view. So this could be prepared with the help of Revit software, right? This type of examples, which I have already shown you, right? This type of 3D models that can also be generated, right? Floor plans, you can represent the floor plans like this. So it will give a better presentation. You can give a better presentation to your client, right? So these are few students work. Some of the students, uh, they had done this type of models. So you'll be able to create this type of 3D models in Revit. You'll be able to create this type of isometric view. If you want to show it to your client, you can show it like this. 
so this is another project done by a student so this is the 3d model this is the 3d view you can see the plan over here these are the this is the complete plan with the working drawing as you can see over here each and every rooms are marked with different colors you can see the square feet like area in square feet you can see the schedules over here so you can get this type of advantages in revit you can create this type of schedules automatically which you cannot create in revit autocad right so you can present this in a better manner So guys, I hope you are able to understand uh, like what is the advantage of Revit over AutoCAD and what is the purpose of you know uh, purpose of Revit architecture uh, for the civil engineering career. If you want to do some planning or uh, the entire architectural part, we can use the uh, Revit software and uh, for the Revit structure, uh, you can use it with the structural detailing process. So guys, uh, we have already launched this course. We can check the demo video of this Revit architecture software and the syllabus. We have already discussed the syllabus as well. What will be the course content? You can check from the demo video. And we have this offer price till 19th of September. For single year, if you want to take the subscription for one year, will be getting it at a discounted price of 1000 rupees and if you want to take this for lifetime if you want all the updates till lifetime you will be have to take this at a price of 1500 rupees right so this is the offer which is valid till 19th of september you will be finding the registration link that is already given over there right so if you think that like uh, Revit can help you in your career, you want to do some, you know, uh, planning and 3D modeling that is required in your career, then you can go with this Revit architecture software courses, right? So please check the demo session, right? If you think that it can help you in some way, do join our courses. We'll have a great learning together. Thank you very much, guys.